country and around the world, firefighters are using Canadian-made portable pumps like this one on my back to fight wildfires that are becoming increasingly common in Ontario. Most Canadians, when you think of wildland firefighting, they think of a yellow plane flying above and dropping water, which is an excellent tool. But what they're forgetting is there's thousands of men and women in the forest, remote, living in the forest, and in the mud, in the dirt, and using pumps, drafting water from lakes and rivers, engineering their way to the fire every day. The vice president of Montreal-based WaterAx, the company that makes such pumps, says the equipment used on the ground today was first introduced in 1964. But the technology is dated, and um, we've took it upon ourselves to evolve the platform. It's going to be safer for the operator, uh, they'll be more productive, and they'll be able to accomplish a lot more with a lot less. One of the bigger differences that makes the new model more user-friendly is the difference in weight. This is one of the old models, and it weighs about 60 pounds. Oof. And the newer model is 20 pounds lighter. Well, this is the basic setup that a wildland firefighter would be looking for. They'll have to find a water source. A water source can be a lake, a pond, a small river, uh, even a mar marsh area where they can have enough water to put a suction hose in it and draw water and lay, lay their hose and push water as far as possible. A single pump can push water as far as 50 lengths or 5,000 feet of hose. But not all crews have the latest equipment. It's taking very, very slow to adopt and to, to transition from the old equipment to the new equipment. Usually, resources are shared across provinces, but this year... All of the provinces are almost burning at the same time, which means that no one is willing to share equipment. And understandably so. What it's, what it's demonstrating is that there is a need for additional equipment. There is a need for additional investment in, in new technology. He says it's important that governments across the country lower barriers and speed up the process of getting the most up-to-date firefighting tools to crews battling blazes as we speak. And this technology was developed in Canada. This is our forte. This is our expertise. And we should be trailblazing and encouraging uh, you know, this kind of equipment because the conditions right now, the way they are, they need those kind of tools urgently. They need modern tools for modern fires. Dilshad Berman, City News.